Welcome back to day 14 of the 31 Days of Horror series. And today we're talking about one of the most underrated badass vampire flicks ever made. 1987's Near Dark. Why is it so dark in here? If you haven't seen this one, you're seriously missing out on what might be one of the best hidden horror gems of the 80s. Forget your sparkly vampires and romantic bloodsuckers. This movie gives us real vampires who will rip you apart without blinking. And one of the standouts? The legend himself, Bill Paxson. This dude steals every scene he's in, and it's worth watching just for him alone. So Near Dark is basically a vampire western hybrid that blends horror, action, and some of the gritty 80s charm. The plot follows a young dude named Caleb, who after a long night of bad decisions, gets bit by a mysterious woman and ends up joining her gang of nomadic vampires. This ain't no Twilight shit though. These vampires are straight up savage, traveling around in a beat up RV, hiding from the sun and killing anyone who crosses their path. There's no ancient castles or fantasy shit here, just blood, guns, and chaos. Now let's go back to Bill fucking Paxton. He plays Severin, the most unhinged and dangerous member of the vampire crew, and he's an absolute maniac in the best way possible. This guy is a definition of zero fucks given. He's got this twisted sense of humor, and he's clearly having the time of his life while wrecking havoc. There's a scene where he takes on an entire bar of people, and let me tell you, it's an all-timer. It's over the top, wild, and he's loving every second of it. What really sets Near Dark apart from the other vampire movies is how it doesn't follow the conventional rules of vampires. These vampires don't have fangs, there's no garlic or crosses, and the film feels more like a gritty road movie than a traditional horror. Director Catherine Bigelow, who went on to win an Oscar for The Hurt Locker, gave us a vampire movie that is brutal and raw, but also kind of beautiful in a weird messed up way. It's got this haunting atmosphere with these nomadic vampires wandering around through the lonely American desert, just trying to survive. It's also worth mentioning how ahead of its time Near Dark was. It wasn't your typical 80s vampire flick that relied on flashy effects and cheesy scares. This one went for a darker, more intimate feel. It's violent as hell, sure, but it's also got this melancholy vibe that makes it stand out. You actually feel for these vampires, even though they're absolute monsters. They're just trying to get by and there's something oddly tragic about it. If you've never seen Near Dark, do yourself a favor and check this one out. It's one of those horror films that doesn't get enough love and it absolutely deserves to be in the conversation when we talk about the best vampire movies ever made. Plus, Bill Paxton's performance alone is worth the price of admission. He's an absolute fucking legend in this. It's finger licking good. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.